Nate with Design Lab 304. And today we're going to go over breaking in a brand new hat, uh, primarily a snapback. And we like to use Richardson 112s for the most part here. That's like what I'm wearing. Uh, these are all Richardson 112s. This is a brand new 112 that has not been broken in. And both of these have been broken in, uh, fitted to my head. And you can see that you know, it's got a good shape to it and ready to go. Each one of these took half a day maybe. And majority of that time was drying time because part of our process is to wet the hat. But we'll go over that in a little bit. Uh, it's a real easy process, um, just a couple steps. So here we go. All right guys, so here is our hat. Uh, bear with me, this is the first time using this uh, point of view mount. Um, so we're gonna make sure we take the sticker off the bill here we'll set that to the side and then in the inside there's typically this um, cardboard insert we can take that out as well uh, i have the benefit of using instant hot water i have instant hot water i know a lot of people don't have instant hot water um and if you don't that's fine just take your regular um you know hot water turn it to get as hot as you can and we're going to use hot water we're going to soak the inside, the stiff mesh part, uh, well not mesh, the, um, I don't know what you call this, but this part, we're gonna run hot water in there and let that soak. So let's go ahead and do that. You can run some in and then just kind of let it soak in. It's okay if you get it on the band um onto the bill it really doesn't matter when this dries it will you know dry and look like it did before you wetted it it won't leave any rings or anything here you can see it's getting saturated and uh starting to get soft already you can feel it so you can bend it a little bit um if you know your size if you don't know your size put it on figure out where you need it i know um i need it about you know right there to fit my head um so that's soaking in pretty good. I'll hit it with a little bit more hot water. Let this soak in and we'll move on to step two. All right, so it's been a little while. You can see it's, it's conforming nicely to my head. It's getting that shape that I personally like. Uh, and you can tell a difference, like here's a brand new uh, snapback that's not been broken in. Uh, I've adjusted it to my size. And you can see when I put this hat on, you can see the difference. Um, you know, from a brand new unbroken in hat to this one, which is still drying, but you know, it just, it's got a much better fit um, and it's contouring to my head. One thing you can do to speed up the process is if you have a hair dryer, you can, you know, kind of hit it with the hair dryer while you're working it. Um, I did try throwing it in the dryer on like a delicate cycle and about every 10 minutes I'd pull it out, put it back on my head you know, just form it a little bit, throw it back in. Um, you can try that process if you're in a hurry, but I mean, here's the same color hat, of course, dry. This hat has never been worn other than to break it in. This is a brand new hat. Uh, we put a patch in, it's actually for my brother, and he wanted me to break the hat in for him before I gave it to him. So I broke the hat in using the same process, and then I went ahead when we were done and put the patch on. If you're interested in patchwork uh, or buying a hat, you can order it through our website, www.designlab304.com. We do a lot of laser engraving um, and you know leather patches on hats. So that's the process. It's easy as hot water on the inside of the hat, let it soak, you know, put the hat on, form it, get it fitting the way that you like it. You can hit it with a hair dryer. You can let it air dry if you're gonna be home all day. Um, you don't even have to wear it the whole time. Put it on, form it, you know, set it down, let it dry for, you know, a half hour, pick it back up, put it on, you know, form it a little bit more. And you can repeat this process. So if you go through the whole process once and it comes out, you know, and you still want it to be a little more contoured, didn't quite get there, throw it back under the hot water, go through the process again. And this process, this is how I break in all my hats now. It's such a time saver. Before I'd have to, you know, wear the hat for like two months in the sun and the heat and and it was a whole process to get the hat to actually fit the way that I like my hats to fit. So any snapback this should work with, I know the Richardsons, it works really well with their, their structured hats. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, follow, 
and we'll see you in the next one.